Good morning, dear children. May all your mornings be fun-filled and bright. May you blossom like a flower and shine like a sun. May you always remain happy and healthy. May Almighty shower all his blessings on you. Now, with all the blessings of Almighty, let's begin our class. All ready for the studies, children? Okay, do you remember what we studied in our previous class? Yes, we started some secondary storage devices and learned about hard disk, CD and DVD. Today, we will be learning about Blu-ray disk, flash drive and memory card. Before explaining them to you, I would like to tell you that why the secondary storage devices are called portable devices. What does the word portable mean? It means that it can be carried anywhere easily. Can we call a refrigerator or a washing machine portable? No, because we cannot carry them easily from one place to another. But laptop, mobile phones, tablet, these are portable. Why? Yes, because they can be carried easily anywhere. Similarly, the devices about which we are going to study are portable devices. Okay, here's a list of few things. Just do a simple task. Copy this list and write P in front of portable devices. I'll read them for you. Pen drive, refrigerator, mobile phone, CD, big almira, tablet, window AC, DVD, laptop, washing machine. Let's see amongst these which are portable. So here it comes. Pen drive, mobile phone, CD, tablet, DVD and laptop. These are portable. And refrigerator, big almira, window AC and washing machine. We have not included them in the list of portable devices. I hope everybody has very well understood the meaning of portable devices. Now we'll study about Blu-ray disc. It is a new optical disc format that can store up to 128 GB of data. This disc is mainly used for storing high quality sound and movies and you can even store HD games in it. The name Blu-ray disc is derived from the blue violet laser that is used to read and write data on it. So wasn't it very simple? Okay children, now let's come to our next device. Before that, just tell me that your friend came to your home and both of you made a project in computers and now he has to take that project to his home. What is he going to do? How will he carry it? He cannot carry your computer. So children, a very popular device which is being used up, up these days to transfer data from one computer to another is a flash drive which is popularly known as pen drive and it is also the most popular data backup device. It is a very small portable solid state hard drive that can be inserted into a USB port for storage and retrieval of data. It is a plug and play device that can be connected to the USB port. Can you see the USB port? Here you can insert your pen drive. It is a small, lightweight and removable drive. 
It is used for copying and moving data from one computer to another. It can store up to 2 terabytes of data. They are mainly appreciated for their small size which makes them really portable and easily attached to a keychain or that can slip into a pocket. I hope flash drive is clear to everyone. Okay, now our next device. Children, these days everybody uses a mobile phone. The phone memory is not sufficient to store the entire media that a person needs. A memory card is a storage medium for portable devices. So we are going to study about memory card. A memory card is a small storage medium used to store data such as text, pictures, audio and video for use on small portable or remote computing devices. You can easily remove it from these devices and attach it to a computer so that you can access the data stored inside it. A memory card reader is connected to a computer which is used to transfer images, music files, etc. into a computer. Nowadays, most of the laptops come with inbuilt card reader. A multimedia card is a small in size, approximately the size of a postage stamp. Multimedia cards are available in various storage capacities ranging up to 512 GB. Okay, now revision time. First of all, let's see the difference between primary memory and secondary memory. The memory of a computer is classified in the two categories, primary and secondary memory. Primary memory is the main memory of the computer where the currently processing data resides. The secondary memory of the computer is auxiliary memory where the data that has to be stored for a long time or permanently is kept. Children, auxiliary memory is similar to external memory. I hope Everybody has understood? Okay. Now, in your notebook, put today's date and write the heading, fill in the blanks. Here is the first blank for you. The data which we put into the computer is processed by the dash. Children, everybody knows which is the processing unit of the computer. So, that is your answer. I hope everybody got it. I'll not tell just now. We'll discuss it later on. Let's come to the second one. The process data is known as dash. Do you remember our first module? We discussed about it in that only. So, just think upon it and write your answer. Third, the information in the computer is stored in the form of dash digits. Children, do you remember that we have said that computer stores everything in forms of zeros and ones? What are these digits called? Just think and you will get your answer. A flash drive is popularly known as dash. Just now I told you. What do we call a flash drive? I hope everybody could recall. Okay, next. The information stored in dash memory is lost when the power goes off. This everybody must be knowing. Okay, 
Now I'll tell you the answers. The data which we put into the computer is processed by the CPU. Second, the processed data is known as information. Third, the information in the computer is stored in the form of binary digits. A flash drive is popularly known as pen drive. The information stored in RAM memory is lost when the power goes off. I hope everybody has done. Post your pictures children. Okay, now a small home assignment for you. Do you remember the memory unit chart which we did? You have already made it and I have told you to learn it. So if you have still not learned, learn it and then complete the following table. No cheating children. Be honest while doing it. It will really help you. I hope everybody enjoyed the class and understood each and every device nicely. Okay children, we'll meet soon. Till then, stay home, stay safe.